Welcome back to Beyond the Boundary Road. I'm Kitty Cara and with me is Danny Doyle, our cultural facilitator. Today we're going to take our final stop for the season and the area that we're going to go to is Cleveland. Um, so Danny, tell us a little bit about Cleveland. Cleveland. Cleveland is the last stop and uh, a very significant area because it was so just like um, the Alexandra Hills area to Kapalabar was very well uh, frequented by the Nunakul and the other people in the islands yeah. all around the area, down as you know, Logan and um, and Morton and uh, Bribey Island would just come around this area, work their way back and forth. And it was like a very busy little area. Okay. Yeah, as they would gather around these areas and then um, get on other pathways and travel in and out. And it's well known for its really big um, old trees that are, that are still near the point. And what kind of trees have they got there? There might be Morton Bay figs. Yeah. Yes. So if you go down back into the town area, you'll see the, um, the swampy land and all the tea trees again, or paper bark trees, and uh, you'll have the lilies as well in the, in, and the reeds. A lot of life going on there, mm. it's just as much you know, these days. Uh, there was a lot of um, ceremonial places around the area. Okay. Uh, there is a ball ring that I still or a pullen, as we call them, yeah. is still near that, um, is still uh, one near a creek okay, up there. Yeah. And I've gone back and I've visited that on occasion. And uh, that is still there today. There was um, others that are head down towards Victoria Point and they get built on. Oh, mm, so the one at Cleveland is still... It's still, from uh, last time I was there, it was still there. Yeah. Um, there's scar trees nearby yeah. as well, which I spoke about scar trees before. Yeah. And uh, they're building around it closer and closer as the years go by. Mm. So, so when you're when you're wandering around and you're doing your, you know, you're caring for country and you're exploring all of these old pathways that you've talked about and the tracks and things like that, I guess you would come across the things that you you brought in for us over these mm. weeks to show, and you do some cultural tours and talks and stuff as well, don't you? You I, find people are interested in this sort of thing? I do, and, and it's, it seems like there's a season for it. It's like, um, it's like the arts, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, during uh, the, uh, not the holiday season so much, but more like the school and the work season, I seem to get a lot of students yeah. in schools that come along. And I'll take them for a tour. Yeah. Uh, I've worked for the Brisbane City Council with uh, Boondle Wetlands. Yes. Down Fall Creek. And uh, I do most of my work now at Malcusa Botanical Gardens. Okay. Mm. So if people are interested in finding out more about culture and about, you know, bush foods and that sort of thing, they can... They can find their way to you, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. With all that beautiful forest that mm. still exists. Brisbane's a really lucky city like that. There's still a lot of green areas, despite being such a densely populated city. Mm. You know, there's still some, you know, places where I guess people can find the remnant forests or, you know, and people mm. are cultivating now, aren't they? They're cultivating, regrowing bush food as well. Well, the more we have it have out there, the better, especially with our native bees. Mm -hmm. See native bees, try and encourage them to stay. Yeah. Yeah, because we've got so many European bees and bees from the other country because they, they produce more honey. So we want them looked after. Yeah. Our own ones. Because uh, they're getting less and less noticed. Mm. Or noticeable, sorry. And, uh, and, and where I'm at at the moment, I'm still travelling the pathway even coming into town yeah. because I'm, I'm way out near Sanford Debra area mm. and then I will travel the the reverse pathway back from the Banya mountain way through the gap, ah, Mount Kutha. That's right because we talked about that right town. at the beginning that people would travel through Brisbane up to the Banya mountains, there's the nut 
that we were talking yes, about. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you come back into Brisbane along the same old pathways. People are more aware of that than they've ever been. Mm. But that's about also not just preserving our animals, but also the insects. So the butterflies that you were talking about and yeah, and the bees. Butterflies, the bees, the birds, <laughs> the bats. <laughs> yeah. Without our bats, we won't have, uh, and, and our bees, the bees and the bats are like a team. If we don't have them, yeah. we don't have a lot of flowers, we don't have a lot of trees, we don't have a lot of plants. Because the bats are pollinators as well, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Danny, that's going to be the end of this part of our series, 13-part mm -hmm. series. So thank you. It's been great. I've learned a lot. I'm sure everyone else has. Ooh. Yeah. It's been an important thing to educate yourselves and this is one way of doing it. And we hope that you've enjoyed the show and I hope that you've been remembering to explore the land that you live on. And if you haven't started, this is a good time to start. So thank you and bye for now. <laughs>